Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? I've got a nice comfy hoodie available on my Teespring account. I got my pumpkin spice latte. I got some Ed Sheeran going on. Holy shit. I'm such a white woman. travel really far and meet up with a bunch of great pilots to fly a really cool bando but man there are some times where you just want to get packs up in the air and today's one of those days so no travel it's a local spot favorite spot of mine still challenging nonetheless but it's just me and my spotter and some charge packs and some good tunes and the makings of a great morning if you like what you see like subscribe let's uh, let's do a pack together I won't be the same. Look, I love Instagram and TikTok as much as any other elder millennial, but I can't get lost in a vertical format 10 second clip. Today, we're looking at how to make longer lines and put together a full three minute edit. So this is a spot that I have to be careful to actively like not fly. It's wicked close to me and it's a bomb spot and I don't want to overfly this and show it too many times, but I love the school and today there's something extra special. So we'll start there before we figure out what we're doing. So if you've been to the channel before, you've seen me fly here. I love this spot. There's a link above to a previous flight. Perfect piece of brutalist architecture with lots of stuff to fly in and out and over and under and around and inside of and outside of. But the scary thing about this place is that this top level has always been inaccessible, right? And as you're doing all these cool dives, and I really like this little gap here. I'll try to work that in in some way better in a second. The cool thing with all of those dives, or the scary thing I should say, in the past with all of those dives is that you'd have no access to the roof because that gate was closed. This gate right here. And I feel like it's a bad thing that it's open. I mean, it's a good thing because I'll be able to get my quad if I crash up there, or when I crash up there. But also, I feel like it's going to have me, it's gonna make me be a little bit braver than I should be because I can get my shit back. So I'm wondering if there is a Matty flip in the cards today. One of these. Hey, there's a Matty flip in the cards today. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the safest place to Matty, right? Because it is just one beam and the likelihood of me dropping down is pretty good. Yeah, that was a good one. But if I did here to here. That's a lot scarier, right? But the good news is that gate is open. So, you know, we'll come back later. You're gonna have to watch the edit to figure out if I did it or not. Oof. That will be a cooler dive if I, I almost, ugh, it's fucking sunflower. I almost wanna pick the sunflower and get it out of the way. Come on, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. The post behind me is scaring me. Nope, okay. Well, definitely gonna edit that out because that was embarrassing. Hell no, it's staying in. Live with that. So what I do need to do is zone the area though, right? Because this is obviously, this has to be zone number two. I can't start in the concrete structure. There's just too many cool things. So I got some trees over here. Oh, I did find 
Yeah, all right. I don't have lots of height in that concrete part of it, so I'm gonna get up above those trees. There is this cool um, knife edge gap here, though. Look, while I struggle to clean that knife edge gap, let me explain a little bit better. In order to achieve a great three minute edit, I want contrast. Contrast, high altitude, low altitude, wooded area, concrete, flat land, and proxy tricks. And mapping out the whole site into separate zones and identifying the individual strengths of each zone does exactly that. 22.1, this pack has gone faster than I expected. Let's see. There we go, that's cool. So that's zone one, the trees, right? I'm gonna have to get that knife edge gap. I have to get one of these massive split S's. Um, can I, is there a dive in the middle somewhere? The colors are so pretty. Let's see, is, is there a, ooh, ooh, did you, did you see it? Nope, there's no dive there. There's also, where is it? There's a schoolhouse over here somewhere. Is it down here? There it is. Took me way long to find. I mean, I, like, in relation to FPV, there's there's nothing cool about that schoolhouse, but if you're a history buff. Schoolhouse 17 historic site. Does it have a date? The district schoolhouse. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It was built in what? It was built in what? Put it in the chat. No, I'm gonna see when I edit it, but was built in. Look, I'm so sorry. I hate to admit it, but I don't think it would have been possible to read this sign if I was flying HD zero. So DJI for the win here. 1846. I mean, it's still impressive. It's almost 200 years old. It's not as cool as I thought. All right, so we said zone one is here in the trees. That's cool. We'll play around. We'll do some stuff in the trees. Uh, the building's gonna have to be zone two, and I don't think I can break this up into different, like, sub-zones. That's gonna be a chapter in my FPV book. That's not a thing. That's not happening. Okay, so this will be zone two, where I come in here and I play in this stuff. That was too big. That was too big. That was too big. I can keep that tighter. That's what she said. Like that. Yeah, that's a better look. Although, I can let it drop a little bit. A bee is flying by my ear. I'm not allergic, I just don't want to be stumped. Yeah, I'll take that, and then. Now, I need a zone three, so that I can come back to zone two, so. Zone three. My general guidelines are not to put out a flight video longer than three minutes and 30 seconds and identify no fewer than three zones. Um, I don't know, power loop it, you think? Remember, it's the age of TikTok and Instagram Reels, so attention spans are super low and more than three minutes is just tough to make SpongeBob. anything look cool. I blame SpongeBob. No, not really. Yeah, not really. Okay, so anyway, I don't know. Can I do something here? Is this zone three? Is it cool enough? I don't wanna go back too far behind the building. Yeah, cause I'm already starting to get down to 35 megabits there. That's kind of cool. I can keep that tighter. That would be cool. Um, just trying to find lines here, right? So I'm going here. And not hit the ground. And I hit the ground running change. Okay, um, let's let's get that a little bit cleaner or let's figure out how we're gonna go about the whole line. Over the trees. Slow dive, nice. Down here. Oh, that's so much speed though. Okay, in order for me to pull off that line, I need to find a way to slow it down after the momentum dive here. Buck Grinder always called this scrubbing off speed. And it makes a lot of sense when you're trying to make a longer line. Now that's nice and tight. But not smooth. Cool. Ish. All right, I think this time when I do that, after I scrub some speed off here, I need to shoot back this way more. Ooh. Oh. 
You got it once, right? That counts. Yeah, not quite. Why don't you head back to TJ Maxx, Karen? So I now have two AOS 5 V5s and two quad milla siren splits. And I am flying the AOS 5 right now because I feel like if I warm up on the quad mula frame, it's gonna, it's going to be, I'm gonna get too fast, too quick. So I figured if I start on the AOS, then I can warm up into it a little bit. Let's see, okay, my battery came unplugged. Everything else is good. GoPro still recording. Sweet. Hey, anybody else who runs the Quad Mula, have you found a better solution for a V-Fly buzzer? Because with the two caps in there, I, the best I can do is over here on the strap. Not the most elegant solution. I imagine it works, but let's see. You know, just because flying the Quad Mula frames is still kind of new to me, I want to take the opportunity to at least narrate through my first pack here after flying five on the AOS 5. Uh-oh, I don't have OSD. I don't have OSD. There we go. Electronics are like that, right? Works totally fine, and then you replug it in, and then it doesn't work, and then you just have to reboot it, and it kind of works. This feels a little stuttery and smeary. Exposure looks a lot better than the other camera, though. The color's gorgeous. Man, DJI is nice. Look, don't come at me at the comments. I know it's more consistent, and I know I'm flying more consistently with it. All right, so this is the Quad Mula Siren F5. I've already done five packs on my AOS 5, which has been my bread and butter frame. And I say bread and butter, it's more like bread and water. It's the only frame I've been consuming anything of. Okay, I was trying to stretch that metaphor a little bit too far. I'm trying to go with like a prison meal kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, it's the only frame I've been flying for a long time. Oh, and I just lost my OSD. What the shit is that? I mean, I still have battery voltage down below. So I could be okay. Is that just a loose TX wire? Okay, anyway. I do already feel like this is faster. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like when my AOS frames die, like for real, for real, I don't know that I'm gonna replace them with AOS frames. I might just, I love the idea of my whole fleet feeling the same so that when I go from one quad to the next, it's just a matter of plugging in the other quad, you know? It's, there's no adjustments that need to be made and the consistency is gonna make sure that any errors in my flying are my own, are of, of that. Any errors in, uh, my shitty flying's my shitty flying, not my shitty equipment. Uh, talking is hard. Stupid, stupid fucking YouTube vlogging bullshit. But I do it for you. Okay, uh, do the Matty? Let's do the Matty. Let's do the Matty better. Let's get the Matty, okay. All right, here we go. Up and over and back down. Get a little bit lower. Nice. Yeah, so the thing I'm learning with the Maddies now that I, uh, those of you who have been to the channel know how much the Maddie Flip has kicked my ass for as long as it has. But what I'm learning about the Maddie Flip is that not all Maddie Flips are created equal. That there are some Maddie Flips that are really hard and there are other Maddie Flips that are quite easy actually. Like this is a good example of a Maddie Flip that is pretty attainable as I fuck it up because there is objects on the outside. So I'm watching the building to my right. That was gross. I'm watching the building to my right to see. Look, he didn't explain this well, so I'm just gonna chime in here for a second. Rubik's Cube, we learn by memorizing the stick movements, Matty Flip, you need the input of the environment around you. Yeah, so I'm watching, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching the building on the right, so I know how much to turn. This isn't a feel thing. This is a reaction thing. This is an assessment thing. All right, let's do one more just to make sure. All my haters know that it's not an error. That one didn't count. Too pitchy. Yeah. I feel like I, I do these enough to say that I have a Matty Flip. Maybe not my most consistent trick, but I have a Matty Flip. 
Now, it's to work it in a line and make it not feel like I have to stall out. That is the tricky part. Right? Like that? Was that cool? That was cool, right? Let's come back. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. This is still kind of lining it up, but I feel like I'm giving myself... I feel like I'm giving myself just a little more time with it. This frame is great. I kind of forgot I was flying the other frame because I was just doing things, you know? And, and that's the key. It doesn't matter the sentimental value of the frame I've been flying for a couple of years. It matters which one makes me fly gooder. This was an important lesson for me to figure out at one point in my life. You can't just decide to like things. You have to do whatever's okay. going to get you okay. the best okay. results. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. say this frame is bomb. I'm really enjoying flying it. I guess I underestimated how different one frame would feel from the next. I can really feel a difference here. It's so it's so grippy to the air and I, I don't know if it's I went up to the uh, mango lassie prop with this one too. Great frame. Look if you're into this please like comment subscribe it really helps the channel. If you want to support me further you can go to my Patreon page and support me there for as little as three bucks a month. I would love your support. Regardless I'm going to keep making videos so enjoy the